So, now, let's get a little bit of olive oil off in our pan here. You know, you can put a nice generous amount. Okay, so, now, my oil is already nice and hot, so I'm gonna put it in skin side down. I'll make sure that it's nice and hot there. Oh yeah, that's great. So I've got my salmon fillets in there. Yeah, that's going good. I've got my sauce going nicely here. What I'll go ahead, I'll add a little bit more stock to that. It's getting a little bit thick on me there. Probably could have got away with just a tablespoon of flour, but oh well. You know, you gotta work it out. You gotta improvise. Remember, recipe is just a guideline. It's just a guideline. Don't burn up the fish though. Man, don't burn up the fish. So, I'm gonna go ahead. All I'm trying to do right now, I'm just trying to get a basic sear, quick sear on the outside. I'm gonna finish the fish off in the oven. Because fish, one thing you gotta remember about fish, it only takes about five to seven minutes and it's dead. Way to make it right is just to let it go. And even after stormy days, there's only one you know. The one you truly want was close enough that you can see. Up here is I've got some nice fresh tarragon I chopped up. Don't go too crazy with the tarragon. You only need a little bit, right? I got some tarragon chopped up here. And I got a couple of sprigs of tarragon that I'm gonna use for a little bit of garnish later. You know, the thug and chef, I gotta make it look good. So let's get back to this fish here. Now now that's a nice sear on that fish there. So what we'll do now is we're gonna transfer that over to the pan. I've got a nice sear on that. Oh, that's hot. So, now let's go ahead and put these salmon fillets. We're gonna finish them off in the oven. By the time we have everything done, Everything will be delicious. It will all come together on the Thug and Chef, you know. So, now, we're gonna go ahead, put a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of butter. Now, oh yeah, nice and hot, nice and hot. Now, Let's do our risotto pancakes. Now what you want to do is just take a nice little spoonful there and put it down in the pan. They don't have to be all perfect, but you do want them to be nice and circular. Oh, they're popping up on me already. I'll start off, I'll put about five. All right, now I've got Now what you can do, you can either add your tarragon in the mixture or you can put a little bit on top. I like to sprinkle a little bit on each one. And give myself like a little bit of a crispy tarragon crust like blend to the risotto pancake. Why not? I'll even throw a little bit off the mixture. Why not? You know, it's all right. Not too much though. Don't go too crazy with the tarragon. But you gotta have it in there. So I put a little bit in there. I top my pancakes. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that they're not burning. Okay? You don't want them to burn. So let's go ahead and flip those over. Those are coming together very nicely already. 
Oh, you can smell the tarragon in there. Smelling nice. And you can go ahead and press that down. Now, we're gonna turn that down a little bit because I don't want to burn it. Let's get ourselves. You see how those are coming together? They are looking delicious. They're smelling good. And when you do this for your date, oh wow, I'm gonna tell you right now, she or he will be impressed. I can tell you right now, they will be very impressed. We're gonna flip those back over. Oh, that one's coming apart a little bit. Don't worry about that though. Just keep your heat nice and high, and they should be perfect. Plus, when you sprinkle a little bit of that tarragon on there, look how you can see it on top there. It's nice, it's nice. That way they know they're getting the tarragon. So, anyways, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take, start taking our risotto pancakes out of the way. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and take one of those out there. Take that one. We're gonna let those cook. Let that cheese and everything melt and the mushrooms and let everything come together. Those flavors. Now if they start to break up on you, what you can always do is add a little bit more egg to your mixture. You know what I mean? I guess you could add the whole egg, whatever you want to do. What I'm gonna do, I'll let those go for a minute. My fish is going good. My sauce is going good. You know, I said, hey, what kind of vegetables can we hook up? So all I was able to find was some spinach and I had a little bit of corn left over, you know? So I figured, I don't know, whip up a little something, some sauteed spinach and some corn, I don't know. Then I had a few diced tomatoes. I just kind of pulled them out of my pocket right quick. I don't know, it's cool. I had a little something up in the fridge. So. Our risotto pancakes are looking great. They came out great, didn't they? They're looking good. They're looking real good. Nice. Oh, that one right there, it just doesn't want to come together for you, but that's all right. We got these ones right here. They were, they were ready to join the team. They were definitely ready to join the team. So, we've got our risotto pancakes. This guy right here is on punishment. Dang it! You're on punishment! I'm still going to eat it, though. Yeah, I'm still going to eat it. That's all right. You can take that. That's your sampler one, right? You know what I'm saying? That's the one that you eat when nobody's watching. You go ahead and sneak a bite. Come out with like third degree burns on your lip. Uh, should be all right. I hope it came out all right. 